Okay, so tonight's guest artist is Miss Mary Lou Strapoli, and she's a local artist and she's a local teacher. And I think some of you may have seen your work, her work. If you've been down to the Sunflower Bakehouse in downtown Farmington, there's a great big mural painted on the side of the building, and she painted it, I believe, last summer. Is that correct? Yes, it was during 2020. And there are some familiar faces. If you look closely at that mural, you might see the familiar faces of some people that you know around town. So I'm going to turn this class over to her. She's going to teach us about perspective drawing tonight. So from your tote bags, if you have them, you're going to need sketch paper, your pencils, your eraser. And if you got an art tote from us, you have a little T-square. But if you don't have that, a ruler is just fine too. And a fine point marker. Okay? So I'm going to turn this class over and we will all... Do we... You. Do you um need this? Yes, that's your paper. That's your sketchbook paper. Okay, so, so I got my colored pet. I got my colored pencils and paper out. So do I need? Do I need I'm colored pencils? Show you everything you're gonna need. Okay, I'll go through it again slower and show you everything that you're going to need. Okay, so okay. the first thing that you need is your sketchbook right here. So if you don't have a sketchbook then regular paper is fine, okay? So that's the first thing you need. The second thing you need is a pencil, a drawing pencil, right? The third thing you need is an eraser. Good, everybody's showing me eraser, good. Okay, the fourth thing you need is what's called a T-square. If you got the bags from us, you got the T-square. If you don't have that, you can just use a regular a regular ruler. Okay, good, showing me T-squares, everybody. Good, good, good. Um, and then, if you have a skinny black marker like this, we will use it at the end. And I have colored pencils, and that's if you, we need them at the end. So, okay, we're gonna, perspective is something that we do in drawings to help people look, to help it make it look realistic. Like, because when we're in real life, when we see things going far away from us, they get smaller, okay? So, like, if you have a friend with you and she runs all the way to the other side of the field, she gets smaller, right? She looks smaller, but she didn't really get smaller, right? She didn't go into a shrinking machine. She's just farther away and she looks smaller, okay? So that's called perspective. And I'm going to show you a little bit of history when, pers when they used to get perspective wrong, okay? So way back in the dark ages, can you see here? It's a little dark. I'm going to try to show you. Can you see here that the heads are a little bit too big in the background? That's because they didn't know how to draw things in perspective. They didn't know the tricks. They didn't know the rules. But by the time we get, we move forward in the beginning of what's called the Renaissance, these are starting to get you, they're starting to get some depth here in space, but still this table's not 100% right. It's still not turned in space the way it's supposed to. But by the time we get all the way into the Renaissance, then, I'm going to hold it up probably to this camera. Then we have space. You can see it in my little camera. You can see how deep it goes. Okay, because by then they figured it out. They figured out how to do perspective. So we're going to do it too. So in a perspective drawing, everything has to be like in a certain order. And I'm going to show you how. So. Let's think about boxes and what the way we look at stuff. So if there is a box on the floor, we're going to see the top of the box and we'll see the sides of the box, right? But if somebody puts that box on a string and pulls it up over your head, you'll see the bottom of the box and you'll see the sides. But if somebody puts a box right at the side of your eye, you'll only see sides, okay? No top, no bottom. 
So just kind of remember that as we're drawing, because what we're going to do is, and I'm going to show you how to use your T-square. If you're using your sketchbook, and you can open your sketchbooks now, if you put your T-square right on the side here and slide it along, see how it hugs it? And it makes a nice straight line, okay? So this first line that we're going to make is called your eye line or your horizon line. That's upside down. It's your eye line or your horizon line. So if you're creeping down on the ground, you'll be looking up at things with the bottom. If you're standing on your tippy toes, you'll be looking down. So the where you put this line actually will help what part of the box you see. So I'm gonna put mine a little bit over halfway towards the top. And you guys can do that too. This is your eye line or your horizon line. So everything is gonna be like from your actual perspective, from the way that you're gonna see things. So put your T-square on the side and draw your horizon line, that's your eye line. Now, for one point perspective, we have three different kinds of lines, okay? We have horizontal lines are the ones that go side to side, okay? We have vertical, those are the ones that go up and down, and we have vanishing, and those are the ones that go to our vanishing point. And we have, hold up your fingers for how many points we have. We have one point, right? Because it's one point perspective, exactly. So pick a place right on that line and put a point, put a dot. Does it matter where the dot is? Nope. And it's going to be a little different for anybody, for everybody. Okay, but can you look at mine? I just want to know if mine's too high or low. I think it looks perfect. And remember, yours is going to look different than mine a little bit based on where we put our lines. And that's okay. Because the rules are the same. Three different kinds of lines. Horizontal, vertical, and vanishing. Okay? So we're going to start by making a box. And I'm going to put it below my horizon line. I'm using my T-square to make two horizontal lines. And then I'm connecting to make a vertical and a vertical. And that is a nice square box. I can't see yours. Can you see it now? It's a nice square box. Yes, Calden. Kaden, are you raising your hand? Yeah, um, is it okay mine looks like a rectangle? Absolutely, it can be any shape. It can be a cube or a rectangle. That's your decision. Okay. Okay. Show me when you got them. Hey, those are some good boxes, you guys. Those are some good boxes. I gotta turn the page here and go to the second one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good boxes. Okay, I'm going back. Now, the, th the third kind of line that we do is a vanishing line, right? Now we pick the three corners that are closest to that point. We put our ruler or our T-square, we touch the corner, and then we touch the point. We draw a very, very light line because some of it's gonna be erased. We touch the corner and we touch the point. And we touch the corner and we touch the point. So it's gonna come from this point up here 
And then it's going to come all the way down to the corners of the box. Show me when you got it. Maddie, good. You guys are fast. Did you go to the vanishing lines, Maddie? I can't tell. Did you draw it really light? Yes. Good job. That's good listening. Good job, Joanna. Good, good listening. Okay. Do you call, are you Lulia? Is, am I saying it right? Um, no, it's Yulia. Okay, sorry, Yulia. Okay, this one, this corner, got to touch the point too. You have it going off in space. All three corners have to touch that point, okay? Is it supposed to be like this? Colton, where are you? Yeah, but they got to touch the point, Colton. Oh, the dot? Yeah, touch the dot. Like, all of them have to move into the dot? All of them got to get skinny to the dot, remember? They get smaller as they go away from you, remember? Like your sh incredible shrinking friend? Same thing. This is Alina, awesome! Thank you. Hey, kids, good. Maddie drew light, called in. I can't see your bot. Oh, you're above the line. Okay, okay. Use your ruler though, okay? Joanna, I can't see because it's a little high. Can you lower it a little bit? Yeah, yeah, you got it. Maria, good. Paige, good. Are they supposed to go like this? Hold on, I got to go back to the other page. Colton. No, see the one that's going off? They've all got to touch that dot. So they all got to, like, go diagonally into the line? See mine? Oh. See what I, they see, I see. I see. They all go into that line. Okay. So... They all get skinny until the point where they all converge into one little dot. Now, we, you'll learn later that lines go on forever, and that's what this means, but we're going to stop our box, okay? We're going to tell it where to stop, okay? So if the line went vertical here, I go in between the bottom line and the middle line, and I do a vertical line there to match it, and the same thing here, I do a horizontal line to match. Wait, I'm too close. Okay, there's my box. Is this good? Good job, you guys. But remember, if it's totally horizontal, you guys are going up into space. So, Yulia, you got to go straight across, like straight. Use your T-square. Remember, only, there's three lines only. Vertical lines, horizontal lines, and vanishing lines. So don't invent the angles. Is mine good? Yeah, that looks good. How about how about mine? Good, Mark. All right, thanks. Okay, let's stack the box. Stack one. Oh, let's erase the lines we don't need anymore. So all those other lines that we don't need for our box, we take those away. So we are erasing those three lines that we made. Those vanishing lines. We needed those to get the angles of the box. And then when we stop the box, we don't need those other ones anymore. So those go away. Now I'm going to make one sitting on top of my box. 
So I'm going to make a rectangle that's kind of tall. And all my lines are straight across and straight up and down. I'm going to take away what I see through that box, though, because it's not made out of clear glass. I'm going to go over it with my black marker because my eraser is not so fantastic. Okay, show me when you have the rectangle sitting on top. Is this how you do it? Yes. Okay. Good. Is this good? Yes, yeah. Okay, now, since I have the front that's facing me, what kind of lines do I need next? Alina, that's great. What kind of ones do I need next? What kind? Am I supposed to do it like this? That's looking good, Colton. Okay, we have three kinds of lines. We have horizontal, we have vertical, and we have vanishing. So those are the ones that go to the point. Like get to the point already. So we draw a line to the vanishing point. And remember, they get real pointy when they get to the point. Another line to the vanishing point and another. So remember getting real pointy when we get over there. So there should be three of them. One, two, three from those corners. And then the same kind of line on the same side. So a vertical goes up and down and a horizontal from can go, the corner. Can you um make the lines a little thicker? Because I can't, it's hard to see them. So, is there just two or three? There are three. The three corners that are closest to the point. If you're having trouble seeing, you make sure that you have Miss Mary Lou pinned so that she's in the big part of your screen. That might make it easier. If you click on the three little dots by her name, it'll make her picture real big and then you can see it a little more easily. That's a good tip. I'm trying to see the whole gallery. So the pictures are small. So I'll try to hold it up to the camera though. Ooh, it gets close though. And I'm going to erase those lines that I don't need. Okay, now let's make a road. Do you want to know how to do a road? We put our ruler on. We're not ready yet. Not ready? Good job, Sydney. Sydney, that looks great. Good job, Lillian. Awesome. Is this good? Very good, Alton. 
Zach, I haven't seen yours yet. Shade and good. I can't make the color box. Which box? I, I can't make the top of the um, top box. You just make a box. Even if it goes through the horizon line, that's okay. I know it's okay to, for, for it to go to, through the horizon line, but it's just hard to draw. Hi, Evan. That looks really good. Good job, Kaden. Is it supposed to go like this? Yes, you got it. Is is mine good? Very good. Maddie, good job. Okay, you guys ready for a road? Let's do a road. So to do the road, you put your ruler on the vanishing point and then all the way to the edge of your paper, like in front of the boxes. It's going to be a road that drives right in front of those boxes. And one right next to it. So we get a road coming right in front of us like that. So it goes right to the edge of the paper. So, so does it go right to the dot? From the edge of the paper, in front of the building, to the dot. They all go to the dot. So that way it gets really pointy at the end there. Okay. So do we start at the two box tips from the end of the page and then just go straight? See where I'm starting here? This is the edge of my paper in front of those boxes. Okay, and then I see it. And touches the dot. Same thing, and then I move it out a little bit, and then I touch that dot. Good job, Maddie. Good job, Alina. I can't see the whole, all of you, so I'm gonna scroll to the next page. Shaden, good job. Sydney, good job. Zach, good job. Mark, my friend from New Jersey, did you show me? I don't see where those other two dots are coming from. This dot is always here. No, 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 I'm, no, what I'm saying is, where are the lines from bottom to top coming from? On the, on the road? They're starting oh, at the hold on, paper. hold on, hold on, hold on. I, all right, wait a second. So I know, I know, I know that the um that the that the one from the brick goes to the point, but where's that second one come from? They're both coming from the edge of the paper. Let me flip this so you can see it. it that's the that's it upside oh, down. Oh, this hits the it just touches the ground. Just touches the bottom of the paper. Uh, I have the long paper. This is gonna be difficult. Okay. Let's build a bridge across the road. Jeez. I know, right? Are you trying to go intense on us? Let's get nuts. What do you say? Let's build a bridge. Woo! I know. So I'm going to start at the middle of that side that faces the road, and I'm going to draw a horizontal line right across the road. So is it like right under like the tip that's like right like I'm starting um, right in the middle of that side that faces the road. Maddie got it. Yeah. So I'm starting here. I'm going right across the road and I'm stopping. Okay. Okay, and let's make it long so we can put something cool on there later. I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Now I'm going to do an up and down one because the bridge needs supports to stand on. That's just on the side of that building.
So this is like drawing the side of a table right now. And these two line up to each other. It's like drawing the side of a table. Um, I can't see your screen. <laughs> no, for me, whenever it says your name, it's black, like a black screen. It shouldn't be black. Yeah, that's yeah, happening to me too. Can we decorate? Um, can we yeah, decorate we're gonna the bridge? Some boxes there. We're going to get some boxes there, and then we're going to decorate. Okay. okay. Anuli, you got to go straight across, straight horizontal. Okay, just go straight across with the T square. So. Hold, you know, make it hug the side of your sketchbook and go straight across. Uh, my name is not Anuli. My name is actually Awesome. I'm using my mom's phone. Okay, Awesome, you got it. Okay. Alina, good. Good job, Jessica Bomarito kids. Okay, so we have the side of our table. Now we need the top that goes to make the bridge. We need vanishing lines. So I'm gonna draw a line. So I'm gonna touch the corner of my bridge and I'm gonna touch that point. And then I'm gonna draw this horizontal line to finish that bridge and then this corner goes back in space too and then I close it up. Good job Maddie. So awesome, you gotta go straight across. Your bridge is at a funny angle. You gotta go straight across. Let's see, Mark, hold it, hold it down a little bit. Oh yeah, that's awesome, you got it, you got it. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next page to see if anybody else is showing me. Lillian, awesome. Jocelyn, awesome. Oh my gosh, these are good bridges. Joanna, good. Shaden, good. Good job, Paige. Good job, Sydney. Okay, let's connect our bridge to something on the other side. So let's make another box. If we know how to do this, it's easy. So we just draw. Now we're on the other side of the vanishing point, I bet. So we'll start to see the other side of the building. So I'm drawing my box here. And you'll see that you're, you're gonna start to see a different side of the building now. And that's what happens when you're on one side or the other. You start to see a different side. And this might be like, just a skinny little bit that you see, the closer you get to the point from side to side or up and down, you see a skinnier part. So I still did three sides, but it's so close here, it's probably hard for you to see. And yours might look different. It all depends on where you put 
your eye line or your horizon line or your point. It all depends. So I'm going to do the same steps, though, of finishing my box by drawing a horizon line between those vanishing lines. So I match the first line that I drew. If it goes horizontal to begin, then I do it horizontal to end it. And if it's vertical on the side, I do vertical to end it. So that's a skinny side over there. And then I erase my vanishing lines. So I have a box here. And I put marker over mine so you could see my lines nice and dark. So it might look like there's invisible, like see-through stuff later. Can you pause? I'm behind. I can't pause because. <laughs> but you can rewind it later at the end. We're recording it too. So if you miss something or if you get behind, you can always jump back on later. Okay. Show me when you have your second box across the bridge. Um, I'm kind of confused. I got the two, the two lines, but for some reason I can't do the third line. Because they're not going straight up and down. They need to go horizontal and vertical. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Do you have them all at kooky angles? You have to go sideways and up and down. Okay, good job with the second building across the bridge. Good job. All right, let's make another one next to it and then we're gonna decorate them, okay? We just need something for our stuff to stand on. Let's make one more. I'm gonna make mine kind of flat and it's gonna hug the other building. So it's gonna be flat here. So I have two horizontals that hug this building. And then I'm gonna go all the way back to my vanishing line. And then I'm gonna stop it shorter than here. So this is gonna be a town, even though I've been calling them boxes, we're gonna pretend this is a town of our imagination and we're gonna make a toy town, okay? You get to pick what toys are in your town. So we can think about it. We can make big things standing on our buildings. We can draw things that are painted on the side of our building. Maddie, good job. That looks really good. Jocelyn, good job. Joanna, good job. Shaden, how's it going? Great, great. Those look good, you guys. Oh, Logan and Savannah, you changed your names. Thank you. Okay, let's get to our toy town now. Paige, do you have a question? Do we have to make a toy town? No, you can make whatever town you want. Um, I, have a, 
I have some like erase marks. That's okay. We're gonna go over our pencil lines when we're all done with um, this marker. So um, that's okay. And we have color pencils, so you can do. We that's fine that you have eraser lines. I do too. So okay, I'm gonna do my toy town. Colton, what did you want to do as a theme? Um, probably like uh, maybe like um um a cyber town. Yeah, if you want to do Cybertown, fine. If you want to park giant airplanes on your town, fine. If you want rockets parked on the top of yours, fine. You can have aliens landing on your building. You can make cheese on your building. Whatever theme you want to do, let's do it, all right? So I'm going to start with my toys. I'm going to do a giant robot standing on top of mine. And he's going to be like the old timey kind of robot. Where you see all of his gears and all of his weird stuff. He's going to have crazy cans coming out of his ears. And he's going to have an antenna outside of his head. And he has kooky eyes. And he has like an accordion neck. And he's got a block of a body. And he's all got all kinds of like lights and whistles on him and gears and stuff. And then he's got those crazy kind of accordion legs, too. It's kind of a big spring. And then he's got like a base with wheels on him. And speaking of springs, I think there's going to be a giant slinky going across my bridge, if you know what a slinky is. He's going to go, it's going to go all the way across my bridge. And there's going to be like a barrel of monkeys coming in from space, saving each other. And they hook on each other. Then there's going to be little army guys fighting here. Oh, I forgot to put my little dots on here. But you guys. Is it okay, Is it okay? I made a factory? Absolutely. And I put a Coke bottle on top. I love it. You can do whatever you want. You can turn it into whatever kind of town you want to turn it into. And don't forget, sometimes these guys need doors, right, to come into these buildings. So we would put a door wherever we want to. And we can add windows.
I think I should have a teddy bear on one. My mother, I'm going through the kitchen right now. I'm not. not I'm going to Candy Land. What happened? I'm going to do a Candy Land. I love Candy Land. That's an awesome idea. That's a really good idea. Are we going to be doing the road? You can put something on the road. Like you can put cars on your road or you can make, what if you made a river of candy going through Candy Land? That road can be a river too. Like, yeah, I can make a boat in my river. And my boat is gonna go up the river. And it's gonna look like a toy boat. And maybe this is a store I call the Toy Box. Can we remove the two arrows that connected to the dot? The vanishing lines? Like the lines that were that that we had that would connect to the dot, like these lines. Wait. Yeah, you can take the ones away that are not that are not part of the box. Absolutely. All right, thanks. Sure. So if you want to make your letters look 3D, you pick a side and you put a shadow on it like I'm doing it. I always do the right side and the bottom. That's a little 3D trick. Ooh, Alina, that's looking good. Don't put that on here. Maybe I'll make this guy made out of Legos.
I'm thinking about something tall standing next to my building. I want to put something here. No. Maybe I'll just do like a dolly here. Yeah, I'll do a doll. So she'll have like braids. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think once I've gone over my pencil and once I've gone over it with marker, it's a good time for me to start adding color. If you guys are ready, you can start coloring too. And you don't have to color the whole thing, maybe just parts of it. Like, I think I'm just gonna color my toys. And kind of leave the buildings alone. So I'm making my robot kind of this green color. It's kind of like a vintage retro green color.
So this Lego will be blue. This one will be yellow orange. I don't know if that's a real Lego color. I don't think it is. Good for a good red here. Eh, close enough. My barrel of monkeys need to be red. Maybe one building will do in color. What do you think? Hey, Mark, that looks good. I can't see your theme. What's your theme? Oh, you're on mute, babe. Oh, uh, like, what do you mean? Tell me what the theme of your town. Like, uh, mine is Toy Town. What's yours? I don't know the name for I don't have a name for it. Okay. And I'm gonna put some water in my river. Jocelyn, good. Tell me your theme. What's your town about? It's going to be candy. And it's their grand. And the first bit of the candy river is flowing in. Yeah, the candy rivers are flowing. And on top of the one building is a lifesaver. I see that lifesaver. That's cool. I'm going to add a gummy worm. Logan and Savannah, I haven't seen yours in a while. I was too busy coloring. That's Logan. What's your theme, Logan? Random. Uh, random, okay. <laughs> and here's mine. Are you doing people? Oh, I like that guy with the to... horns. I like that <laughs> horn guy. I have, like, there's this ghost over here oh my and then yeah. there's this guy over here and then i have a giant up here he's a giant and then the sun is also a monster i love that monster oh my gosh awesome are you coloring or are you just drawing today Ooh. i think i color but i'm still working on it okay Paige, what you got for your theme i just saw it really quick um, well, I named it Imagination Land and like the box, and then I got a Hulu theme with it. Uh, Imagination Land is awesome. Mm -hmm. Lillian and Jacob, show me yours. What's your theme? Um, we're making our own, but what's yours, Jacob? Okay, just tell me because I can't see them because they're kind of small. Just tell me what it is. Jacob's is Army Town. Nice. And then mine's just the giant city. I like it. Very nice. I see your car's going over the bridge. Shaden, I haven't seen yours in a while. What you got? I haven't thought of anything yet. Okay. Do you need an idea? Do you want to do aliens invading? Um. You could have spaceships coming in and aliens. 
Awesome, looking good. Do you have a rainbow in there? Yeah. I like it. Alina, look at your red bridge. Very nice. Ooh, Evan, nice color. Tell me what you're thinking. Is that Groot on the top of that building? Um, no, that's just an alien. Okay. He looks a little like Groot, but that's okay. He's cute. Can I do mine? Yeah, I want to see. I'm going to go this one. What's your theme, man? Random. Random. Made Chewy.com factory with the giant Coke bottle on the top. Neat. And then, uh, and then a random banana dude dancing in the parking lot. I like banana dudes. That's cool. Joanna, what you got going on there? Mine's also Toyland. Say again? Toyland. Oh, Toyland. Very good. Very good. Okay, Mark, what are you showing me? You got a lot going on. Yeah, I know. I like it. Thanks. Lots of detail there. I'm not really thinking of adding um, color. Okay, you're just going to keep it a drawing? That's cool. Mm -hmm. Zach, I haven't seen yours in a while. What's going on? I have the start of a palisade wall Ooh. and then make the city uh, inside. It's like a fortress, man. That's yeah. awesome. Is Thank that you. A and da dragons inspired. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. iPhone. I don't know your name, but that's looking cool. It's like a rainbow bridge right there. My name is London. I love it. I love your rainbow bridge. Are those like candles or lighthouses on the top? Um, they're spray cans. Okay. All right, so, oh, so it's like an art factory and they're spraying color? Yeah. Awesome. I love it. Thank you. Miss Mary, how do you know my name? Because it's at the bottom of the screen. Some of you have them. Alton, I haven't seen yours. What's going on, man? Ooh, that's beautiful. What's your theme, buddy? Toy. Love it. Right now, the Love middle it. of my bridge is a giant, is the, like a walkway over the water. Yeah. And my robot is like sticking his antenna through the bridge. Awesome. I love I it. I haven't really added much yet. That's okay. I see a lot of cool things going on in there. I see a lot of cool stuff. Is your dad here? Isn't he the director of Kickstarter? No. No, this is a fact. Anything. Well, what do you think? You guys can work on your own for a little bit? Okay. So keep drawing. Keep doing a good job. Oh. Wait, one second. Thank okay. you. Oh, cool. <laughs> Maddie, that's so awesome. Awesome. I love it. All right, you guys, I'm going to go, but you keep drawing, okay? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Can I show you mine? Yeah. Thank you. And if, you're, if you are happy with what you've made today or if you want to keep working on it, keep those projects. And this spring, we'll have an opportunity to exhibit some of the work that you're doing down at our gallery in downtown Farmington. That would be so, cool. So keep, keep track of where your work is as you're working on it, as you keep your origami and your pictures. And I don't know about you, but I think you, instead, you guys could keep practicing and making more of these, right, Miss Mary Lou? You can make as many of these as you want. You can stack them to the sky. You can create all kinds of cities. Yeah. 
So maybe that's a good thing to challenge yourself and keep practicing with. And just a quick reminder that in our next class is going to be on Saturday, May 15th at 2 p.m. We're going to do a pastels class, okay? So thanks for everyone for joining us tonight.